All right, the next figure to quickly talk about here is uh, CM Punk just wrapped up his second UFC fight with a uh, score decision loss to Mike Jackson earlier this week. Uh, your thoughts of uh, the Punk UFC run? It looks like it's pretty much done because Dana rarely, if ever, keeps fighters who lose two in a row matches, which is a weird quirk of UFC because he wants, I guess, top competition versus top competition all the time, and I guess that's a way of figuring it out. But... Um, you know, going forward, was this a good thing for Punk? Was this a bad thing? Was this, you know, whatever. I mean, he was one and one this week in fights because he won the lawsuit with uh, uh, Doctor Amon and the uh, WWE's uh, uh, medical staff and everything. So, um, it's good because he got a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, it's it pretty much ends his MMA career. Um, both fighters actually got fired right after the event. Oh really? So Mike Jackson. Well, actually, Punk around. Punk hasn't been fired because he okay. still has one match left in his contract. Oh, but okay. They're not going to put it on TV or anything. Uh, and so then, does yeah. UFC do house shows? How does that work? Is he just going to be in front of like, <laughs> you know, a bunch of six hundred army cadets at a base somewhere or something? Or <laughs> that, that would be a match in his contract. Jeez. Oh. They'll just bury him, and then the other guy got fired because he didn't end the fight soon enough. Because yeah, Punk was defenseless the entire match i don't get how ufc works that way and that stuff i think that's just more of the mentality of of dana, that's dana. And, yeah that's, that's a dana thing that's a dana thing so i don't get that at all i mean like you know in boxing you know you fight until there's points decided or you know you have a winner outright, and then this right? one you just punch a guy until the bell rings yeah so <laughs> even if he's laying on their ground <laughs> Uh, so, so he didn't finish off Punk quick enough. And he got fired. Whose, yeah. Whose fault is that? I mean, you know, that's the thing is that Punk actually trained for this one, and you know, from all accounts, actually hung in there a little bit, and you know, was proven to be you know not so much on the advantage for most of the fight because he lost, but you know, maybe more along the lines of okay, I'm hanging around, I still got a dog in this race type thing, which we knew he was going to do anyway, so. I think the criticism here is the match was a pay-per-view match mm -hmm. and it took away from the undercard like the Fox TV matches and the ones that weren't on TV um, where the fighters were actually more talented. Oh. All right. Well, again, it's pretty much like putting um, Tai Chi in a title match. <laughs> oh, he of the Final Fantasy character arc. Anyway, <laughs> the, the character reject, you know, just, uh, but anyways, it, well, do I expect to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring? No. Probably not. Do I expect to see CM Punk back in a wrestling ring of some sort? Maybe. Never, never say never. Maybe. Uh, I think he's done enough now where he's can go out and be a, uh, a, a, a he can go out and co-host, you know, that Talking Dead show on AMC if he wanted to or whatever, With right? Chris Hardwick and CM Punk. <laughs> exactly, something like that, you know, or he could do a podcast or he could do, you know, morning radio if he wanted to. Or... He does He does comic book writing. That too, yeah. It's, yeah. You know. Um, he is confirmed for StarCast mm -hmm. at All In. Yeah. I wouldn't rule out a cameo appearance at all. And I don't think he'll wrestle, but I can definitely see him, you know, maybe doing a run-in or hanging out with uh, in the ring with Bullet Club or something. Can you imagine a free man booth at all in of JR, Don Callis, and CM Punk? That'd be fun. Well, be all right. not for JR. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they do, if they do grab JR for StarCast, or sorry, for all in as their, as their play-by-play -play guy, uh, they'll definitely have to, put him with a strong color commentator. We know that Callus is probably going to be the color commentator for that show. So why not have a free man booth at that point and just bring in the wild card as I guess the Corey Graves type with CM Punk. Uh, 